So the ESA has announced that E3 is coming back. Let's talk about this. Hey everybody, Blood Moon Bobby here. So if the video quality looks a little different today, that is because this is the very first video I'm doing for the channel that I'm recording using the Atmos Atoma or the Atomos Ninja 5. I'm not sponsored or anything, but I really wanted to get this recorder for a long time in order to take higher quality videos. So if you like the quality of this video, let me know down below in the description. But anyway, the subject for today's video is E3, and that is because E3 2021 is going to happen according to the ESA. It's just that it's going to be a digital event. Now, the website gamesindustry.biz says that companies like Nintendo, Microsoft, Konami, Ubisoft, and there are others that I'll show you here in the screenshot, they are participating in E3 2021. The article does point out that there are some companies that didn't announce they're going to E3, including Sony, EA, and Activision Blizzard. So if you would like to know which companies, at least as of the recording of this video, that haven't announced that they're going to E3, check out the gamesindustry.biz article down below in the description. So E3 2021 will take place between June 12th through the 15th. And in, contrary to some rumors that E3 2021 would be put behind a paywall, the ESA said they are working with, with their media partners to ensure that the content will be free. And Polygon said that organizers hope that E3 2022 will be in person. So I am excited to hear about E3 coming back, especially since last year it was canceled due to the pandemic. I was a little skeptical about whether E3 2021 would happen in any way, shape, or form, especially since last year it was canceled due to the pandemic and I thought that many companies would just have their own digital events like kind of like how I think one of the reasons why Sony hasn't been to E3 in the last couple of years is because they've been doing their state of play events and I didn't think like companies like Nintendo would participate in E3 2021 and um, despite having done Nintendo Directs at E3 in the past, I thought they would just do a Nintendo Direct completely on their own. But I guess they really wanted to join in. And the fact that at uh, Microsoft and Nintendo, the console manufacturers are joining in, especially in Nintendo, which has a habit of, you know, doing, really doing things their own way. The fact that those two companies are joining in on the action and they're getting into doing E3 2021, I think it is a really good sign that E3 2021 is going to happen for, for sure. And and despite all the uh, competition that E3 faces and the setbacks that it's had, it's still a convention that I really still do get excited for, whether it's digital or not, because it's still the place I look to for some of the biggest gaming announcements of the year. Especially, you know, looking back, I mean, I've basically known about E3 ever since I was a little kid. I remember seeing the pictures of um, the Nintendo booth and Nintendo Power Magazine back in E3 2004. And the E3s that followed just brought so many big announcements from Nintendo. Like, I could think back to E3 2007 when they announced Mario Kart Wii and Wii Fit and Mario Strikers Charge. And then E3 2010 was the one where they announced the Nintendo 3DS. And I remember they were showing off all these screenshots of potential games that could come to the 3DS, like Mario Kart, um, Star Fox, and they were showing that demo of, demo of Metal Gear Solid 3 that would basically become Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater 3D, which was really awesome. And it's even opened my eyes to what other companies um, follow. I mean, even though, yes, I'm primarily a somebody that follows Nintendo, E3 was also the, the convention that also got me into looking into what Microsoft and Sony were doing. I remember just for the heck of it, um, E3 2009, I looked into what Sony was doing, what they were doing at their conference, and they saw they announced Uncharted 2, and it was my, the first time I got to see the demo of God of War 3, which would actually become one of my favorite PS3 games. I've, I've played um, the beginning of God of War 3 using PlayStation Now, and now God of War is one of my favorite PlayStation franchises, so I gotta hand it to E3 for introducing me to not only different franchises, but also, you know, gotta give it credit for helping me, you know, break out of my Nintendo bubble a bit. And so even though 
Yes, you know, I've talked about, you know, the, you know, lots of the competition going against E3, like how nowadays there's things like the Game Awards and how many of the gaming companies themselves have started to have their own events and other things like that. It's still a convention that I still get excited for and it's still one that I still very much look forward to. So when they said that they're going into doing a digital event for E3 this year, it sounds like it's going to be kind of like what CES did earlier this year, the Consumer Electronics Show, where it's basically going to be a bunch of companies holding all sorts of maybe digital events where maybe they'll have like digital conferences and announce new games and things like that. And it'll be held around that sort of time frame, like right around June 12th to the 15th. And I'm looking forward to seeing that. I'm very much um, looking forward to what Nintendo is doing and hoping maybe they'll talk about things like the Pokemon ports and maybe some games that are coming in the more so distant future. Like I'm thinking about, I'm not really sure if they're going to show stuff from like Bayonetta 3 or Zelda Breath of the Wild 2, but I guess one could only hope. I really want to see Mother 3, but I'm going to guess that that game is still not coming to um, stateside anytime soon. Hmm. I was also ho- wondering what maybe that I was also thinking maybe Beth- Bethesda will be at E3 2021. But as I record this video, I recall that Microsoft has acquired them. So maybe they'll have some kind of showing at Microsoft's um, conference this year if they decide to have, have one. And even though, yes, I'm so excited for E3 2021 as um, the Polygon article was saying, I do hope that um, E3 2022 will take place in person, especially, I mean, I know, yes, there's other in-person events that, you know, have happened before the pandemic, like I'm thinking of South by Southwest, but I think one of the nice things, one of the really cool things about E3, and especially serving its original purpose of being this trade show was the ability for people to go and experience like the demos that they can't really get anywhere else. Like I remember seeing all those demos for like the 3DS and Wii U um, at E3 and it's just like you couldn't get those kind of demos like I you know Nintendo wouldn't put those demos on like the Nintendo eShop especially when I think back to like when the Wii U was first first announced there was no way they were going to put up those demos on like I mean, where could they even put? They can't put it on, like, the Wii. The Wii can, couldn't ro- run those Wii U demos. And so it had access. So E3 was the place for, you know, very, you know, for journalists to get access to those demos that really nobody else really could. And it would also be a great opportunity for the press to get to interview these developers. And so I am hoping that E3 2022 is an in-person event. I frankly hope, I mean, just, you know, with the pandemic, that conventions just in general, in general, come back in 2022 like I really miss going to like WonderCon and the Long Beach Comic Conventions and and so I'm hoping that those events do come back in 2022 but for now let's see what happens with E3 2021. So, all right, so let me know your thoughts down below. Are you excited for E3 2021? What announcements are you looking forward to? What games would you like to see? Leave all those thoughts down below. And until next time, this has been Blood Boom Bobby, and thank you all for watching. Hi everyone, thanks for watching this Blood Moon Bobby video. Like and share the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel to see more of my videos and ring the bell to be notified about my latest uploads. Don't forget to follow me on social media for my latest opinions and video updates. I hope to see you next time.